right now I don't. Maybe I should. Um, the reason that I don't is that I think, having heard the bad shoot experiences of my wife and other professional models, I don't think these videos are worth the paper they're written on, as it were. Um, because if you are genuinely feeling scared to shoot, you will sit there and say, yes, it's all fine, in order to just get the hell out of there safely. Um, so I think the best thing you can do of all is to have another person there at the shoot um, in a professional capacity. So for BDSM shoots, I think that's good practice anyway. We try to have a bondage rigger in addition to the photographer because that second pair of hands, second pair of eyes is really good for safety. Um, because while I'm concentrating through the camera and clicking away, the rigger can be concentrating on making sure the model is safe, the model's okay, the model's comfortable, and will notice anything, including like me, if I'm about to back off and back down and fall down the stairs, the rig can say, oi, stop it. Um, so that I think is for BDSM shoots, actually i would advocate having a second person there if you possibly can i mean not least of which is that if i faint or walk into a ceiling beam or something and knock myself out i don't want the model being locked up and unable to get free i wanted to be able to call help for me i want to be able to call the ambulance for me so just having a third person there really it deals with so many items on the risk assessment as well that okay what if this goes wrong what if that goes wrong what if the other goes wrong well the answer is there's another person there one of us might faint both of us the chance of us both fainting or falling down the stairs and breaking a leg as close to zero so that is what i would say is the most important thing um, obviously get model I releases photo ideas proof of age uh, work with professionals don't do it on the cheap because you get what you pay for so a model who's been modeling for five years will know what to expect as a shoot. Uh, you should probably get liability insurance. You're probably legally required to uh, learn how to do a basic risk assessment, um, go through the stuff on the HSE website and they tell you how to do it. 